Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 18309. Now you might say, wow, you took some time to do it. Yes, but I had some issues with it that I wanted to test a little more and see if they were recurring issues or if it just happened once. Um, so a few little things that were kind of weird. One of them, a blue screen. I had a blue screen of death and um, it actually appeared uh, twice. Um, on the second and third time that I actually started the Windows machine. So um, that was kind of odd and it was pretty, um, you know, it, it happened like really, really close to the startup. I mean, I was on the desktop, I could see the images like you see here, all, everything was uh, seemed okay. And after about, I don't know, five minutes, it um, blue screened. But then I restarted, since then I probably restarted ten times at least. And I've not had that come back anymore. So I don't know. So I had a few little things like this. Uh, the install was really quick. This is a quick install. I don't know what they changed in the install phase, but these are really quicker installs than they were before. Uh, typically, everything was done in two hours, which is really fast for this machine. That usually takes three to three to four hours uh, to install. Um, what is fixed? Well, they did fix some of the things that were wrong in the previous build. So I would, you know, think they rushed this build because a lot of people were having issues and they wanted to at least fix the little problems that were uh, reported. So the, um, you know, problem that I had with the action center, the taskbar disappearing and reappearing because of Explorer crashing, um, all of that is actually gone. It works fine. So apart from that blue screen that appeared twice and that I haven't seen since then, um, the rest seems okay. I haven't had any issues at all uh, with you know that that I had before. Uh, sandbox mode works. Um, I've seen a few people say, well, you know, sandbox doesn't work. Yes, it does. Sandbox mode does work. I've uh, I've actually used it and uh, tried it, and it 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 does exist. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to start it here because it's a long process, but the sandbox mode does work. Everything is fine. So what's new in this build? Uh, mostly, um, first of all, you know, some narrator tweaking. So lots of little things about the tweaking of the narrator. Uh, so if you use that, if you have disabilities and narrators might be useful for you, they've tweaked some uh, ease of access improvements. Uh, in the cursor and pointers, uh, they've added a, a 11 additional mouse pointer sizes and pointer settings. They've also had more voices and uh, better, uh, you know, character phonetics and stuff like that and the improvements of the uh, narrator. The main thing that they focused on on this version is a streamlined experience with Windows Hello using PIN, but also using a passwordless uh, entry. So when you go there, and we're going to check that out because I'll set up a, a different account. I'm going to actually set up a second account on this machine to do the tests here. But when you go to set up your accounts and use the sign in options, you have the ability to sign in without having um, to use your password. You can actually sign in using a device like your phone. So this I'm going to check out because um, I, I want to make sure that everything's uh, all right and that it works fine. And this is available for every version of Windows. They wanted to make this available to Pro and Enterprise only at some point, but now it actually is available um, to everybody, even the home version, which I think is a very good idea. Another thing that is um, not mentioned there, but there's a lot of changes, is in the install phase. Uh, a lot of people have actually noticed that you the out of box experience that we call which is the setup phase if you guys have ever set up windows 10 lately you have cortana that goes through it and asks you what you want to do well they actually disable the voice cortana is still available you can still use cortana if you wish to do so but instead of having cortana yell at you at some point it actually it is quiet they kind of muted cortana but it's available if you wish to use the Cortana experience. 
that does work well, honestly. But I think it's, you know, a good idea to just say, well, you know, it's available. But if you don't want it uh, here, you're just going to stay quiet. Uh, not bad. Another thing I noticed, and look at this. When you go to your settings, I noticed, and I did not notice if it was there in 18.305, but look at this. There's a search option in the settings, which is kind of interesting. And it gives you permission in history, searching windows, and more details. So there's some kind of search option here that is available, which is something that I, you know, I'm trying to remember if, I don't think I've seen it in 18.305, honestly. So this is one of the new options that is now available here um, in the 18.309. There's a search options in the settings. So that's pretty much it, and not much more to say about that. We will, of course, do a video. I'll do a video about the sign-in with a phone. I'll try that out and, of course, post a video of this. And um, I will also, um, you know, check out the different options. We'll check the sandbox mode once again. Uh, once again, if you are looking for sandbox mode in Windows 10 Home, it doesn't exist. It's Pro and Enterprise only. Um, I wish it would, you know, actually have a home version also. It'd be nice. So that's pretty much what I have to say on 18309. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.